This tutorial is for first grade, module four, lesson five. In this lesson, we're going to use pictures to help us determine one more or one less than a number, or 10 more or 10 less than a number. In my first problem, I have three sticks. There's 10 cubes in each stick. The problem is asking what is one more than 30? Well, the first picture shows the 30. The second picture shows the 30 again and the one more. So if I have 30 and one more, I have 31 altogether. The second question is asking what is one less than 30? I start off with 30 again, but I'm going to show in my second picture that I'm going to take one of the cubes away. That is showing me one less than 30. So if I look at that picture, I now have two groups of 10, which is 20, and then nine cubes, since I took one of those cubes away. That tells me that one less than 30 is 29. The next question is asking, what is one more than 39? In my first picture, I have 39 cubes. I have the 30 shown by the three sticks, and then nine more cubes. In my second picture, I've added one more cube on to nine cubes. That allowed me to make another group of 10, or 40. Going across, I'm asked, what is one less than 39? Again, I start off with 39 cubes. I have three tens and nine cubes. I'm going to take this cube away to show one less and that's represented by this picture. I still have three tens, but now I have eight cubes. Three tens and eight cubes would be 38, and that means one less than 39 is 38. Here we'll follow the same process, only this time we're asking for 10 more or 10 less. The first problem says, what is 10 more than 27? I'm starting off with my two tens and seven ones to show 27. In the second picture, I added another group of 10. That's showing plus 10. So now I have three groups of 10 and seven ones for a total of 37. 10 more than 27 is 37. Going across, I'm asked for 10 less than 33. I've started off with my 30 and three to show 33. I'm going to take away one of the groups of 10. That would give me this picture, two groups of 10 and three ones. So now 10 less than 33 is 23, shown by the two groups of 10 and the three ones. I'm going to do the same thing in the next section, but instead of showing the process in two pictures, I'm going to add on to one picture. For example, in problem seven, it's asking what is one more than 28? The picture shows me 28. I have two groups of 10 and eight more. Since I'm adding one more, I just need to add one more cube to my drawing. So I'm gonna add the cube in here. I still have two groups of 10, but now I have nine cubes. One more than 28 is 29. Going across, I'm asked for 10 more than 28. Again, I've started with my 28 cubes two groups of 10 and eight single cubes. To show 10 more, I'm just going to show another quick group of 10 because the direction says I can use a quick 10 to show 10 more. So we'll assume that this stick here represents 10 and that means I have three groups of 10 and eight more. So 10 more than 28 is 38. In question nine, we are asked what is one more than 29? I have my two groups of 10 and nine cubes. I'm going to add one more cube to that. When I add that one more cube, that gives me another group of 10. So now I have three groups of 10. That tells me that one more than 29 is 30. In question 10, we're asked what is 10 more than 29? So here again, I'm going to draw a quick 10 to show my 10 more. Now I have three groups of 10, I still have nine ones. So 10 more than 29 
is 39. In my last section, I'm going to use one picture and cross cubes off to show one less or 10 less. In problem 11, it says 10 less than 26 is blank. So I've started with the 26 cubes, two groups of 10 and six cubes. I need to show 10 less than that, so I'm going to cross off a group of 10. Cross this off, that leaves me with one group of 10 and six ones. 10 less than 26 is 16. Going across, one less than 26 is blank, so this time I'm going to cross off one cube. I'll cross that off. I still have my two groups of 10. This time I have five cubes. So one less than 26 is 25. In question 13, we're asked what is 10 less than 40. I have my four sticks to represent 40. I'm going to cross one stick off because that's crossing off 10. That leaves me with three sticks of 10, or three groups of 10, and that would be 30. 10 less than 40 is 30. And finally, I'm asked what is one less than 40. I have my four groups of 10 to show 40. I'm just going to cross off one of those cubes since I'm showing one less. That leaves me with three groups of 10 and then nine cubes. So one less than 40 is 39. So you can see how using these pictures is helping to lead us to the patterns that we see when we add or subtract 1 and 10.